Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today I am going to respond to a subscriber here. So Nasdaq Killer states, remember when you used to say that quants are more needed when the market is crashing to manage risk? Now you are saying that they are blaming quant models for this crash. What changed between the last crash and this one? So two things here. When I read a lot of these comments, I get confused. Um, I'm confused because I'm not sure how these two statements are opposing or opposite. So you're saying, okay, remember when you used to say that quants are more needed when the market is crashing to manage risk? Yes, I have said, so when I used to say, uh, quants are most needed when the market is crashing to manage risk because that's what's happening. Risk increases, volatility is increasing. You need somebody to manage that. So now the second part is, now you are saying that they are blaming quant, quants models for this crash. Yes, they being the public, they being the institutions that have the models, they being other people, not me, that will blame the models for the crash. And I will even put myself in this boat here because on many videos recently, including this one I think that they're talking about, I do say that the models will cause these crashes. And it's not that they cause the crashes, it's that when you have the crash, the model doesn't work for managing risk. And also most of these models actually don't work at all. And so when the market goes up, as I've mentioned, guess what happens? Everybody makes money. So it doesn't matter if you have a good model, a bad model, it doesn't matter what type of model it is. If you're modeling out pricing, for example, or when to buy and when to sell, you're gonna make killings of money as long as your model tells you to buy things as it's going up. And the market's been going up for 10 years now. So, well, more than 10 years now. So again, I'm confused on these pieces here. And let me clarify a little bit here on some of these you know, different perspectives of this. Uh, one, quants are needed the most when markets are crashing. And yet that's not when firms like to bring on more quants and build out teams and hire teams. But in another video I mentioned as well, right after the crash, so like getting a job, the time to get a job is when it's crashing. Right after the crash, they hire a bunch of quants to meet ridiculous regulations. Like we swing from like no regulations. Okay, right now the Federal Reserve and all that uh, and FDIC and all kinds of regulatories, SEC and I don't know, you can list any regulator in there. Like the last couple of years, they've been like, oh, let's reduce, you know, CCAR levels and let's reduce the amount of rigor we need and let's just reduce all this stuff. The market is great. The world is wonderful. And that was like a couple of years ago. And now like, and then you look back at like 2007, 2008, maybe 2009, though it's like, oh, the world's ending. We need more regulation than we can handle. And they're like piling on all these regulations and hiring all these people. So yes, quants are needed the most during crashes because they can manage and reduce losses. Uh, quants also, so funds in general, quant firms, outperform other firms in the sense that they better manage their risks statistically and mathematically. And so they actually do better at avoiding losses than just finding really, really good money-making opportunities. So when it goes up, a lot of people make money. And when it goes down, quant funds usually lose a little bit less. Uh, not all of them, but good ones that are put together well. And that was actually mentioned in the Malin Sharma interview I did. So I'll probably link that here at the end of this video if you're interested. So yes, we need risk management. We need better models. And that's exactly what the video this individual is commenting on as I'm talking about. Now that piece here with, you know, blaming the models. Yeah, I'm blaming the models as well because you need good models to price things. You need good models to, you know, manage your risks. You need good models across the board. And yet when you build crappy models and people are unqualified and there's no one to say if it's a good model or a bad model, then what? Like, what do you do? It's not 100% the model's fault, but I mean, it's really the people's fault that built the model, wanted to use the model, tested the model, put the input into the model. And looking back at 2007, 2008 crisis, there was a lot of people that were overly dependent on the models. And then when it blew up, they said, well, I didn't know that it had all these issues. And yet a lot of the quants were saying, yeah, I told you it had all these issues. Um, again, 2007, 2008 is going to be no difference if we have a big crash here coming up. It's going to be 2007, 2008, Bunch of people built models, bunch of people made money in 2004, five, six, seven. And then when it crashed in 2007, 2008 area, um, then tons and tons of people lost money. And then magically all these models that were great and wonderful, like the Copula models that were being used, they are complete garbage and everybody hates them. And it's all the quants fault. And then of course, it's really everybody's fault involved in it, right? The quants were responsible for building crappy models if you don't have qualified quants. Uh, but also how those models were used and also understanding what you were trying to get built and the, you know, the feasibility of building some of these models because some of them aren't feasible. 
Uh, the business side just doesn't understand. They're blaming it as well. And then you have the public on top of all this as these big chaotic circuses with the media pointing fingers at, you know, is it the bank's fault? Is it, you know, is hedge fund's fault? Is it, you know, I don't know, Reddit's fault or someone else's fault or whose fault is it? Like everyone's pointing fingers. When these things fail, when models fail, most models aren't built very well, but then also understanding the risks around your models is an important part here. So 2007, 2008, bad models, bad crash, pointing fingers, everybody blame. Yeah, they should have had better models, which is what I'm saying. They should have more risk management, which they don't have. They didn't have, still don't have. Uh, we come today, we don't really have risk management either. We've tacked together a nice, frilly, hand-wavy C-car uh, thing and put some new rules in for trading and whatnot. But I mean, there's really not that much change in the model development process or the quality of the models or even how people understand models. Um, so this crisis would be the exact same. We would have models blow up, models fail, and then we'd have a bunch of people, you know, pointing fingers. It'll be the data scientists fault, the AI fault, because that's like the new trendy thing. The quant sync will take some of the blame, but data science and AI, you know, how dare you use those methods? We didn't understand anything. They're terrible. Those people are dumber than dumb. Uh, it's going to be a just crazy nonsensical thing in the media as well. When it hits or crashes, um, quants will get blamed as well. Again, the business people, for just blindly following, oh, number comes out of computer and tells me to do this. And then I'm just following it. That's going to be the same thing here. So interesting comment. Um, hopefully I clarified some things for them and anyone watching and listening. Yeah. Hiring more quants during risk is good. They should, but they don't. Um, yes, I've said that. I think banks should do that. Right after it, they definitely hire because regulations hit. Uh, also here, you know, quants are going to get blamed. I blame a lot of the quants as well. Right, we're not all the same. People build good models that are good quants. People that are crap models that are crap quants. So it is what it is. Anyways, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time.